trip starts in the middle of the night. Before the trek up the mountain, you'll need some fuel, provided by tea, coffee, and snacks. With the help of your local guide and a torch, you begin the hike. It's not too difficult. You can reach the top in under two hours. Don't be surprised if you find yourself surrounded by clouds. A strong wind may be a bit chilly, but it blows the clouds away and gives you a great view of sunrise and Mount Rinjani off in the distance. Look down at the villages below, as well as Lake Bator. When it's time for breakfast, a bunch of Balinese long-tailed monkeys show up. to take in these amazing views. Continue on your way down, where there's more monkey business going on. Stop to check out the crater that was formed after an eruption. Steam pouring out reminds you how active Bator is. There's also a temple inside a cave. Now it's time to begin your descent. After the long hike, it's time to relax. What could be better after climbing up and down a mountain than soaking in a natural hot spring? Enjoy views of the lake while you rest your muscles in the hot water. You even get a foot massage and a delicious lunch. On the way back to your hotel, you can make another stop at a coffee plantation, see the famous luwak, and learn about the process of growing and roasting the beans. Now it's time for a taste test. Enjoy a variety of coffees and teas, all with this beautiful view.